In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome to today's edition of Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Friday, the 31st of December 2021. It is the last day of this last month of the year 2021. We thank God for bringing us to this day. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and fulfillment of all religion, grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first letter of St. John, chapter 2, verses 18 to 21. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 96, the response to the psalm is, Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. The gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. I read from the gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth, we have beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. John bore witness to him and cried, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, for he was before me. And from his fullness have we all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father, He has made Him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
theme for today's meditation is The Word is the Flesh The Flesh is the Word The Word is the Flesh The Flesh is the World Dear friends in Christ We have come to the last day of this last month of this year 2021. But a few hours and 2021 will be history and we will be describing it as last year. We thank God for making it possible for us to see the close of this year 2021. For a moment, let us observe some silence in prayer and memory of all those in whom we began this journey on the 1st of January 2021 but who left us along the line. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. Amen. Dear friends, the Gospel from St. John is very apt to close the year. It is the very first chapter and the first 18 verses. St. John traces the origins of Jesus Christ. He is the Word of God. He is God. A person's word is the person. You cannot detach yourself from your word. So we often say, I take your word for it. If you cannot trust your word, it means someone cannot trust you. Jesus is the Logos. He existed before all time. He is the word that became flesh, that is, the word that took on human form in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. This is what we see when we pray the Angelus. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. This word became a human person and lived with us. St. John makes a link and a relationship between the Word and the flesh. The Word of God is Jesus, that person with flesh and blood. We cannot claim to love the Eucharist, yet we disregard the Word of God. And we cannot claim to love the Word of God, yet do not believe in the Holy Eucharist. For the Word of God is Jesus, and that Word, Jesus, became flesh in His person, and that is made visible in the Holy Eucharist. For the Holy Eucharist is Jesus Christ, flesh, blood, soul, and divinity, the Word that becomes flesh. That flesh, that was the Word. The Church makes this reality very vivid, making the link and relationship between the Word and the Eucharist. The Holy Mass has four parts, the introductory rite, the liturgy of the Word, the liturgy of the Eucharist, and the concluding rite. The liturgy of the Word begins with the readings. We have passages from sacred scripture read to us. The first reading, usually from the Old Testament, a psalm, the second reading, usually from the New Testament, and a gospel passage from one of the four Gospels and a homily follows to explain the Word of God. Then we profess our faith in what was proclaimed and taught in the Word of God. Then the liturgy of the Eucharist begins. That Word of God we listened to becomes flesh in Holy Communion. Jesus, the Word of God, becomes flesh in Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. He dwells among us because we receive Him and He lives in us. 
For this, the church teaches that he or she who does not listen to the word of God should not receive Holy Communion. For when the sacred scriptures are read in the church, God himself speaks to his people and Christ present in his word proclaims the gospel. Confer the general introduction into the Roman Missal, number 29. That is the relationship between the word and the flesh, the table of the word and the table of the Eucharist. When Jesus in the word dwells in us, beloved, we become different and transformed. When Jesus in the Holy Eucharist dwells in us, we become different, we become transformed because the word takes flesh in us. Next year, 2022, a few hours away, the Sunday of the Word of God will be celebrated on Sunday, the 23rd of January. It is an opportunity, beloved, to soak ourselves in the Word of God, to get steeped in the Word of God. Let us ask ourselves, beloved, what is the value we give to the Word of God? What is the value we give to Jesus himself, who is himself the word of God? St. John tells us today that word became flesh. Do you know the Bible is Jesus? How do you treat your Bible? What is the place of Jesus, the word of God, in your life? You cannot claim, beloved, to love Jesus when you do not love the sacred scripture. In the words of St. Jerome, ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. So you cannot claim to know Christ if you do not know the scriptures. You cannot claim to love the Eucharist if you do not love the word, for it is that word that becomes flesh. Does Jesus dwell in you in his word and in the Holy Eucharist? Do you allow him to transform you? Do you belong to a gospel sharing group and do you make of your life a living gospel? This is the relationship, beloved, the word and the flesh, the readings of sacred scripture and holy communion, the word that becomes flesh. As we get into the new year, let one of our resolutions be to show love, respect, value, and reverence to Jesus in the word of God and in the Holy Eucharist, for he is that word that becomes flesh. Let him dwell in us, in our hearts, in our homes. And I tell you, beloved, we will be transformed and we will in turn transform the world around us. And we will see that the year 2022 will be awesome for us. These two pillars are the greatest in the life of every Christian. The word of God that becomes flesh in the Holy Eucharist. Dear friends in Christ, we are nothing without the Word of God and without the Holy Eucharist. A life not built on these two pillars is absolutely nothing. And that is why St. John tells us in today's Gospel, it is that Word that was in the beginning. The Word through whom all things were made, it is that Word that becomes flesh. The Apostles and the first Christians always gather together in prayer, in sharing the word of God, the teachings of the apostles, and in the breaking of the bread. Confer Acts chapter 2, verse 42. Let our lives, therefore, be lives of the sacred scripture and of the Holy Eucharist, the word that becomes flesh. And if that word becomes flesh in us, Jesus dwells in us and lives in us, I tell you, beloved, we will become little Jesuses everywhere we are, and our world will be transformed, and 2022 will be such a wonderful and an awesome year. God bless you. We thank him for bringing us to the close of this year, and may next year be very wonderful for us, thanks to his blessing. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen.